Oh wow, this lighting. Well, we shall try to make do. Okay, let's do this. Hi everyone, welcome back. It's been another week. I was supposed to film this podcast yesterday on Thursday, but here we are. It's Friday afternoon. I got four hours to film my podcast, to get it edited and rendered and uploaded to, into uh, YouTube. So here we go. Let's hope I make it in time. If, I, if I'm late, you know why. So what to talk about this week? Well, uh, first of all, most exciting is that I have released my uh, yarn advent calendar. It was released last Saturday and uh, there are still uh, some left in the uh, web shop if you're interested. I will link that below. And um, yeah, uh, it was amazing. I had a lot of fun making that advent calendar. I'll insert a, a picture here of um, yeah, well, what the packages look like so you can see that at least. I can show you the colors for obvious reasons. Uh, but that's out and about now. It's uh, I have some left in the the web shop. So if you're interested in getting a one of a kind yarn advent calendar, feel free to pop in there and snatch up one. Um, if you have a look around in the the web shop, you will not find any of the colors in there that in the uh, advent calendar. The advent calendar are all 25 one-of-a-kind colors which most of them will not return again in the future so snatch it while you can so that's very exciting that's the most exciting thing this week uh, I also worked really really hard to get that uh, done and, and get it out there into the world uh, and all that and uh, so this week I had to take a bit of a downtime and, and just rest and <laughs> recuperate a little so I haven't had too many new projects. Uh, I have however spent a lot of time uh, ordering different types of uh, you know like yarns and yarn dyes and stuff like that so there will be a lot of new yarns um, and colors coming in the web shop in well from October forward so do, do keep an eye out for that. Uh, but I have been uh, plugging al uh, along on the projects that I have been talking about for the past couple of weeks. For one, I have been working on the um, Victorian cape, which is now done as for all the knitting. Um, it has not been blocked yet, which I need to do. The, the front here will kind of just curl up. So I need to block it a little and it's also uh, kind of itchy and toothy. So I have, I am going to uh, line it, which I believe I did talk about earlier. And this week I got the lining that I'm going to use. I was thinking about getting something green or orange that would match this fabric, but you know, trying to figure that out by see, seeing a photo on the internet and comparing it to to the knitting is, is almost impossible. So I decided I would take something different instead that I feel would match up good or would be a good Pick and I feel very happy about this color. I think think this is very will be be very nice to have uh, on the inside. Uh, so that arrived, and I also got buttons. I did order two different types of buttons. I ordered coconut buttons. I love coconut buttons. They are my absolute favorite and go to almost every time. Uh, and I ordered two of them. How cute are these? I love these tiny little boxes. So I ordered two of those, but I also ordered these green ones, which I think are absolutely adorable. I ordered two of, of those as well, because there's a lot of buttons. Oh, there's a lot of buttons uh, going down here um, in the front. So I need to decide now which color to choose. I don't know. Because it turns out both of them match really, really well to the, the fabric. Uh, the green one is matching a lot of the green tones in this. And the coconut ones are like more natural and uh, a good fit because of that. And they also go well with the, the lining. So I'm not sure yet what I'm going to use. 
uh, but absolutely love all of them. So yay, very happy with that, but that. Can't wait to have this completely finished. I'm going to block it now over the weekend and I will be doing the lining next week, I hope, depending on how much work I need to do, because this is more of a passion, fun project. So. Uh, but I also am going to cast on, because I'm going to make a bag as well, that kind of goes with the cape in the same knitted fabric. So I got this, I have, uh, uh, I bought these on a second hand store like, um, I don't know, two, three, four years ago. I've had them for a long time. So I already got the handles I want, so I'm just going to knit like a, yeah, kind of a pouch I guess. I'll probably, probably just be doing round and round knitting and I'll just uh, attach it to the handles and just uh, enclose it in the bottom and that's that. And hopefully I'll have enough uh, lining so that I can line the bag inside as well. I think that would be good. So that's my upcoming project now. I have started casting on for the uh, the bag but I still have not uh, actually knit anything on it so I just got bunch of stitches on uh, on a circular needle. This is a bit itchy so I'm going to take it off. I'm also going to try to, I have some lining which is more of the uh, more sturdy kind of thermal something something that you use for uh, for winter coats and I'm thinking about putting that in the collar here just to make it because it as you can see it rolls. I would like it to be kind of stand up more. So I'm thinking about uh, lining the collar with that as well, and then the the other lining outside. We'll see. It really doesn't matter. It can roll as well, I guess. I just I would just like to have it standing up a bit more. We shall see. We shall see what I come up with. Okay. So what else? Um, well, let's stay on the wool projects, shall we? I have. Uh, I forgot, this is the Victorian cape. I forgot to bring the pattern. I will I will link all of the patterns below, so you, you will find it there. Uh, I am currently making the Ovis socks. Let's see if I can find the first page. There we go. Uh, those by the Petite Knitter. They are so cute. Uh, so I decided to grab some of the wool uh, that I have in my web shop because I haven't actually knit with that uh, before. This is hand dyed by me. This is my uh, Annie Love Yarns, which is my brand. So I'm using that as a base and I am using oops, Rauma Finul for the, uh, uh, the pattern. And, oh, excuse me, I got fluff everywhere. This is where I'm at right now. I have done the sheep at the top. This is so cute. It's absolutely adorable. Now the pattern calls for some side of, sort of cut in heel, I think. I don't know, uh, but I, I prefer the heel flap and, and, uh, and gusset. So I always do that. So I, I just kind of, I knit the, the pattern up here and I just followed along for the length that I wanted and after that I've just been knitting like I always knit my socks. Uh, now this pair is not for me, it's a gift and that person has kind of small feet so I made the, the foot slightly small but I'm not sure. I think I may regret that actually. I think I may actually pull it back till somewhere around here where I was doing the last decreases and have it slightly bigger because if you compare the foot I don't know if you can see this if you compare the foot to to this part you'll see that this part is a lot wider uh, and I'm thinking I may have been I think it may be slightly too tight here so I don't know I may rip it back a bit uh, but other than that I absolutely love this this, this is going to be some amazingly warm and cozy winter socks which we'll probably need let's face it because with the current prices of electricity and, and heating and all that we're all gonna need to wear some nice warm wool socks this winter too uh, 
to not go under financially. I don't even want to think about what it's going to cost me to dye all the yarns that I need to do because that takes a lot of heat as well or a lot of electricity so but anyway um, making good progress on that one um, may think back a bit and um, we'll see what happens um, so what else is new well uh, I do also have you know Tomorrow is October, and uh, October is pumpkins, and I do have a free pumpkin pattern that I did uh, that I made. I don't know, a couple of years ago. I don't remember. Uh, it's a free download, uh, so I'll insert a picture here. So do feel free to go to the web shop and download that pa pattern if you want. There's no, you don't need to purchase anything at all. You can just hop on uh, on there and just download it. And uh, there's uh, a couple of other free patterns as well. You find it uh, in the drop down menu if you go to, I don't know, uh, well, the yarn section and there will, uh, the pattern section, and there will be a section that is uh, says free patterns. So you'll find that there. So go ahead, feel free. And uh, you can make that out of any yarn you like. There's no just. Uh, the only thing that happens is that your pumpkin will have different sizes. I've made a bunch of them myself and I have well, you know, really tiny ones and I got some big ones and I'm going to make some more this year, of course, because you do need the pumpkins for October and Halloween. Okay, I feel like I'm <laughs> just rushing through things here. I'm, I'm kind of it's just a tad stressed here. I have a lot to do today. It's been a very stressful day up until now and I still have a few things that I need to get done before the evening. Also, you know, uh, tonight is the launch uh, or, or the release of um, Hocus Pocus 2 on Disney Plus. So I am absolutely going to watch that. Uh, really looking forward to that. So I'm, I just kind of want to get everything done for the day and I can just, you know, slide into the, uh, to the couch, couch, sorry, to the couch um, under a blanket and with my knitting and just watch that but I am going to show you one more thing before we leave. Uh, you know I talked about um, I wanted to make uh, like a miniature house for the knitted rabbits that I have it's also a pattern in my, my uh, web shop uh, I wanted to make a house for them and I wanted to make like an a visual advent calendar um, for, for that but I have had a hard time trying to figure out exactly how to make this house. Um, I had all the ideas but I just couldn't quite pinpoint what I wanted to make. And then I got the brilliant, most brilliant idea ever. Uh, because on my wish list on Amazon I've had this book. Can you see? Oh, there. Uh, since like forever. And uh, the main reason for that is the illustrations and it just occurred to me that oh my god that would be the perfect um, inspiration to use for building that house I mean you see that oh, look at that that's the kind of thing that I want to make uh, I'm not gonna have all that stuff uh, right from the, the start, but I'm thinking I could make a story of the uh, uh, bunnies finding this house and then they can start decorating it and I'll just add on as I go. I mean, look at that. That's absolutely incredible. So that arrived uh, this week as well. Um, and uh, I'm feeling really, really inspired. I would have started to build probably during this week had I not been so exhausted. I have, um, um, what do you call it? You know, I hit the wall a few years back. So I'm a bit sensitive uh, to, to uh, when I work too much and, and long hours and such, which I have done for a few weeks now. So I kind of had to uh, take it a bit easier this week and not uh, run around doing a thousand things all the time. So. Um, but uh, that is upcoming as well. Uh, I got so many projects. I got so much I want to show you guys. So, I mean, um, subscribe, follow along. I would love to to uh, have your uh, have you with me. Um, what else? Oh yeah, one more thing before I, I 
finish uh, this and go um, edit. Uh, tomorrow is October 1st, which means Vlogtober. I have this idea that I want to do Vlogtober again this year. Uh, not sure how I'm going to make it time-wise because, like I said, I have a million projects and then some. And uh, can't always do as much as I would like to, but I'm going to try. I'm really going to try. So hopefully there will be a short video every day from tomorrow till October 31st. Um, I don't know. I have a list of ideas for content for that, but I think for the most part you'll just follow along and I'll show you a little bit of, you know, the behind the scenes and what I'm doing and, and I don't know, yarn dyeing and uh, all of that stuff. So yeah, looking forward to that and I, I hope you'll follow along on that and, and find that enjoyable as well. So yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. I'm going to, going to stop right there and uh, get this video edited and get it uploaded for you guys so you know that I'm still around and alive and kicking and all that and I'm going to do a bit of house cleaning and you know making everything really nice and, and oh I need to find some uh, a nice scented candle I think and I'm going to watch Hocus Pocus tonight and, and knit that's what I'm going to do so I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful weekend as well and that you're doing good and all that. And I'll see you next time. I'll see you tomorrow, maybe, in Vlogtober. Bye. Mm -hmm.